Louisiana Beer Reviews, Budweiser, Black Lager, Jim Beam. Aged to perfection on real bourbon barrel staves, not aged in a bourbon barrel. Okay, uh, I did a duo review with my friend David, and he gave me a bottle. Thank you, David, for this bottle. I was going to buy one, but he saved me the trouble. Oh, this one's scratched, though. Mm. Oh, well, I guess I'm buying one anyway. All right, best before March 12, 2020. <laughs> This is a specialty lager brewed with toasted two-row barley and aged on the six-year Jim Beam bourbon barrels. They use two-row barley malt, well, water, two-row barley malt, rice, hops, and yeast. Don't know what kind of hops. All right, and it's toasted barley malt. 7.1% alcohol, it's like 238 calories, something like that per 12 ounce, so it's a heavy body product so uh, yeah I'm gonna have to get another bottle for uh, collectible purposes I'll save the cap at least because it looks like well, that's a little scratched up too well oh well that happens I might have to get him to check out his bottles and save me one if uh, if he can get someone out the scratches It'll be around for the fall 2019 season. That was what it was introduced for fall 2019. And then next year they'll have another Discovery Budweiser. You can see that thick uh, beige head. The appearance is kind of copper or red, a lot of ascending bubbles, it's clear, yeah, clear, dark lager. I was saying it's like a Dunkel Doppelbach. That's what I was pinning it down to be as far as style. You know, style. Barrel, stave, age, <laughs> Dunkel Doppelbach. The aroma is not too abundant. Now it's chilly this morning here about 8.30. It's damp and a little chilly, and when this, those clouds finally move all south, the sun will be full in full force. It'll warm up, be kind of nice. But right now, it's kind of a nasty chill in the air from this dampness. It's very light, light, light. A light aroma of bread crust. Okay, that's all I'm picking up. And we didn't notice a whole lot of bourbon barrel in the flavor. And I saw the few video reviews they have so far in October 2019 and they were remarking about that too. Um, no use looking up Beer Advocate, Rape Beer and Untapped at this point. It's so early on into the, the introduction. Maybe in a month it'd be good to look at that. See what people are averaging, in that, averaging it out to. Very dark brown bread crust little molasses syrupy thing that you'll get with these kind of beers sometimes like with the Schmatzen Optimator get that little molasses syrup thing um, I guess like they're saying a little rye spice, like rye bread spice. I said in the duo review I wouldn't be talking about bourbon if I didn't know it had it in there, so I'm not going to talk about it. High, medium body, approaching heavy, but a fairly crisp finish, like medium dry finish. All in all, a really delightful beer. I scored it a 94 out of 100 in my in our duo review, and he went to 96, but I'm gonna stick with 94. Nonetheless, it's the most excellent product. I've enjoyed the Anheuser-Busch Busch specialty beers for many years, going back to 1996. I remember in the, the fall of 96, around Thanksgiving, they came out with the Anheuser-Busch 
think it was called winter lager. You know, they wanted to have it for 96, 97 winter season. So um, that was really dynamite. I still have the bottle from that, from there. That just goes to show you, they didn't just start doing this. All right, that was 23 years ago. So, and I was saying then, I wish they'd keep doing it. And then it kind of, they didn't keep doing it. And then, uh, about 10 years later, they got back into it. So, uh, or I wasn't seeing if they were doing uh, that stuff at the time. I wasn't seeing it except for that one. So anyway, uh, they had some regular ones back then uh, that were sort of uh, along these lines, like the Michelob Classic Dark. I guess you could say that was part of that idea, uh, conceptuality. And they had the Michelob 100th Anniversary, the Centennial Beer, which was very good, and so on. So. Laissez les bon temps relay, a most excellent beer. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana. Now this would pair with sausage. So I have some Vienna sausages and some uh, uh, Cajun Chef hot sauce on these buttery crackers. That Polish sauerkraut I have would go well with this as well.